Hello everyone. So today we'll have the permutation. So what is a permutation? So a permutation is the arrangement of objects, things in which the order is important. Okay. So there are four different permutations that we can be used in our topic today. So the first permutation is when n objects taken taken r at a time okay so we have the variable n and r again n objects taken r at a time okay for example this problem in your language club there are seven possible choices for president Vice President, Secretary, and Treasurer. So in how many ways the four officers be selected? Okay, so if you will analyze the problem, so how many possible choices? So seven. So your N and the problem is seven. And how many possible and, and how many officers? There are four officers. So your R is four. Okay, so we will use these two values in the formula P of N, um, R. So N objects taken R at the time is equal to N factorial all over N minus R. So the quantity of N minus R factorial. Okay. So since we have n equals 7 and r equals 4, so we will sub substitute these values to the formula. So here, it will be P7R. So that is 4. So 7 objects taken 4 at a time. Okay. So equals. So n factorial is 7 factorial. Okay. Then in the denominator, so 7 minus 4 factorial. Okay. So the result here is 7 factorial all over 3. So 7 minus 4 is 3. So that is 3 factorial. So what is the answer? So 7 factorial can be written into 7 times 6 times 5 times 4, times 3, times 2, and times 1. In the 3 factorial, that is 3 times 2 times 1. So if you notice, we have the same, this one. 3 times 2 canceled, canceled, so 3 times 2 times 1. And also in the numerator, okay? So what you canceled on the denominator can be canceled on the numerator. So the remaining is 7 times 6 times 5 and times 4 this one so you will multiply that one and the result is 840 so there there are 840 ways okay so that is n objects taken are at a time okay the second kind of permutation is n objects taken all at a time okay so n objects taken all at a time so in the in the first example is n objects taken r at a time so for example in how many ways can we arrange six different potted plants okay so six potted plants so we can say that our n is equal to six and our r is equal to six so therefore therefore they are equal so we can say that here your r is also our n okay so n is equal to six so the formula of that is it's one so n objects taken all at a time 
is equal to n factorial so that's so easy right so p then 6 comma 6 the year n is equal to 6 so don't worry about this one because they are equal so just 6 then factorial so 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and times 1 so the result if you multiply all that one the result is 720 so there are 720 ways to arrange six different potted plants we'll go to the third permutation that is distinct or distinguishable permutation so this can be applied if some of the objects are alike or repeating okay for example find the number of, of permutations of the letters in the world philippines okay so if you notice in the word philippines there are some letters that are repeating okay for example letter p so how many p so there are one two and three so since there are three p's so you can say three factorial okay what other letters so we have letter i one two three so it's the same three factorial then after that you will count how many letters in the world in the word philippines so there are 11 letters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so your n is equal to 11 so that is 11 factorial so the solution here is p is equal to 11 factorial over this 2 3 factorial so 3 factorial then times 3 factorial so if we solve that one it can be written in 2 so 11 factorial is 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 4 3 2 and 1 and this 3 factorial so 3 times 2 times 1 and here also 3 times 2 times 1 okay so we can cancel this one okay so don't cancel this one okay because what you cancel on the denominator will also be cancelled on the numerator so the same okay so we have the rest, this remaining so if you multiply 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 the result is 6 million 652,800 so all, all over 3 times 2 times 1 that is 6 so there so if you divide it 1 the result is 1 million 108,800 so there are 1 million 108,800 ways that we can arrange the letters in the in the word philippines okay okay this is our last kind of permutation we have the circular permutation so circular means circle so it is an arrangement of objects in a circle pattern or circular motion so the formula of that is p permutation is equal to n minus 1 factorial okay so the quantity of n minus 1 factorial for example in how many ways can six people arrange themselves in a round table okay, round table means the table is a circle okay so since there are six people so your n is equal to six so now we can solve the probability so six minus one then factorial so six minus one is five so five factorial so five times four times three times two and times one so the answer is 120 so there are 120 ways to arrange the six people 
in a round table.